Hello YouTube, it's Darth Steve 333 here again. Uh, another pickups video, a bit of a pickups catch up, I suppose. Um, sort of explaining where I've been at the last few months, what I've been doing, what I haven't been doing. Um, in short, um, what I've been doing is working, and uh, what I've not been doing really is doing the car boots. But uh, I've got some pickups anyway, more in recent weeks than anything. But um, what have I been up to? Um, like I say, working really. Um, interestingly, although I was working all the way through the uh, the lockdown period, all the way through March to end of July. Interestingly, uh, my employer had sold about fifty percent of the business to another business, and I had to transfer to the new uh, company, if you like, as part of a process they're called Tupi. Um, but um, although that sounds like it might have been a good thing. Um, the new employers were never really interested in keeping on the, the staff. Um, essentially, they wanted the infrastructure uh, and the customer contacts, I suppose. And then, uh, obviously, the existing staff to ease the transition. So uh, I was originally due to be there till the end of September. Uh, they asked if I could do it till the end of October, which I initially agreed to. Um, but as luck would have it, uh, before leaving my old employer, I said, if anything comes up, will you let us know? Um, and amazingly, something came up. They let me know. So I'm going back there, albeit on a temporary basis, um, but with a bit of redundancy under my belt. So um, as things are currently looking, things aren't working out too bad. So uh, fingers crossed. Uh, what else has been happening? Um, not a lot, really. Um there was one sad event, and I know obviously there's lots of sad events going on around the world, especially with this uh, this virus situation. But um, sort of, we've been living a fairly insular life um, throughout the whole thing, really. Um, um, we've got a fair number of pets. We've got two cats, and believe it or not, seven ferrets. Um, might have mentioned the fact we've got ferrets in a previous video. Um, not something I ever saw myself uh, having as a pet, a ferret, um, but it's a very long story, one that I might bore you with in another, another video. Um, but uh, essentially, uh, we found out that they're really nice little pets, very, very cute. They're like mini dogs, almost. They're always pleased to see you. They want to play, um, and they're, they're great fun. So, yeah, anyway, um, one of the, the gang, a uh, little ferret called Freddo, uh, became ill and uh, we had to put him to sleep so that was really sad and for my wife and myself because we've, we've not been able to have kids you know we dote upon the pets and spoil them rotten so uh, I know it might seem like small potatoes in the current uh, scheme of things but uh, it's one of our little family and uh, yeah we were very very sad so uh, I might uh, in fact I am dedicating this video to uh, little Freddo cute little bugger that he was uh, I'll probably put a couple of videos on sorry a couple of pictures on the end of the video because um, we both miss him and uh, yeah it was sad times but anyway moving on I hope everyone that's watching this is well um, hope um, you're all continuing to be safe it looks like we might well be heading into a, a second wave now um, so it's probably a good thing that I got out there and uh, did a few bits and bobs pickup wise recently. Um, what have I done? I've only done one car boot um, since March, and that was uh, just over a week ago. In fact, a week ago today. Um, went along there with my gloves on and uh, my mask on and so on. And it was reasonably well observed, safety. Um, but uh, one way systems don't seem to work, and I was always wary of uh, people that were getting within me bubble so to speak but um yeah it wasn't too bad and i found a few bits and bobs which i was quite pleased with so um right um in no particular order um where shall i begin a couple of random things that i picked up here and there i've sort of been visiting the charity shops here and there um found this for a couple of quid which i quite liked and sort of goes with uh, the t-shirt that I've got and it's a DS game, it's Atari Greatest Hits. It's pretty good, I've been playing Missile Command on it mainly. Um, 
good game. Um, this is something for um, the Super Nintendo that I picked up off eBay for about six quid, I think. It's, it's not a particularly good conversion, but I still managed to lose myself in it for a couple of hours. And it is uh, Pinball Fantasies. Much better on the Amiga, but um, like I say, it was still reasonably good fun on the SNES. It does suffer a little bit from uh, strange ball physics, um, if you can say that on YouTube and not get a strike or, or banned for it. <laughs> uh, another thing from a charity shop, this was a pound, I think, um, Minecraft for the 360, so that's going to be a trade for computer exchange. And another thing off eBay, uh, which completed uh, something I got, basically um, probably about a year or so back I got some GameCube games um, didn't check them uh, all before I bought them I, I forget where I got them from whether it might have been a car boot or or a recycle centre or maybe even a charity shop but um, got it home, opened it up I think it was in Star Wars um, Rogue Squadron 2 um, opened it up there was no Rogue Squadron disc in there but there was this and it's Mario Party 5 so anyway I set up a, an alert on eBay and uh, this came up and I got this for about 6 quid 5 or 6 quid I think plus postage and it's Mario Party 5 box and uh, it's got the manual and the associated bump as well so uh, that completes Mario Party 5 on the Gamecube uh, what next? Just trying to find the random things. Another, this was a Facebook purchase. Um, you don't see Dreamcast games come up very often, so when you do and it's on the list, um, I'll sort of, uh, it'll perk my ideas up. So uh, I saw one game that I needed and another game that I thought, well, I'll pick that up because it's um, cheap enough to maybe use as a partial case transplant. So the partial case transplant, unfortunately, is uh, poor old Choo Choo Rocket. The uh, case isn't in the best condition, but the um, I think it's fairly intact. Although the disc has just fallen out. But uh, the outer part of it is intact. So uh, sorry, Choo Choo Rocket, you will be a case donor. And the one that I, I needed, <coughs> I've actually got the disc for already, which is... Uh, something that I bought off Amazon about um, about a year or so back I was a bit disappointed it was one of these uh, buy from one of the sellers and it, it come through and it wasn't in an original packaging it's uh, NHL 2K but in what appears to be a Wii case and in uh, a reprinted American NHL 2K2 photocopy so although I could play the game it wasn't really what I wanted so um, I actually got the uh, the one I wanted now so uh, that is complete um, and there we go disc and manual and the case is in good nick as well and it's got a little uh, hologram on there as well so uh, happy with that so uh, right what now um, okay, a couple of um, cash converter pickups. Um, pulled the trigger on this, it wasn't particularly cheap, but I've been wanting it for a while and it was cheaper than I'd seen it up to that point. It's Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Switch. And uh, again, this is a developer who I always like to buy their games just because they're British developer, they generally make good games and I think they're a little underrated really. Um, it's Strange Brigade and I think that cost me a fiver. So uh, quite happy with that. Uh, next random pickup. Again, this was from uh, like a second hand shop. Um, they sort of sell, you know, they're like the, the type with the, it's like a, like a pawn shop sort of place. Um, you know, it's got cabinets with electrical items in, and then it's got some games and some DVDs and that sort of thing. Like a buyback sort of a place. So I got this. This was uh, 25. It's Doom Eternal. Um, 
really enjoyed the predecessor to this. It was a really good game, completed it, but um, I'd heard that there was a bit a bit more platforming in this, so I didn't really want to pull the trigger on it, but it was full price um, in case I didn't like it. So anyway, I bought that, and then about a week later they announced um, that um, ZeniMax and Bethesda and Id and all that had been taken over by Microsoft and it was going on Game Pass on the 1st of October, so... Anyway, yeah, I'd have been able to play it on there and try before I buy, but uh, as you know, um, and the purpose of this video is pickups, I like the physical media, so uh, I was always going to get it in the end anyway, so I've got it now. So, uh, right, uh, next. Um, let's see. Uh, we went on a day trip uh, for the third year running. Our only holiday has been a day trip to Skegness. Um, whilst we were in Skegness, um, I found a uh, game, and um, I think uh, Glory Hunter went there, and he'd actually sort of uh, mentioned that they'd still got some PS3 and some Xbox 360 games in there, whereas most branches of game had got rid of those long ago. Uh, so I had a look, and I found the following four games for the princely sum of 49p each. So I got uh, Dragon's Dogma. Um, Falling Skies, Devil May Cry 4, and Dark Void. And they're all in decent nick, and like I say, you can't really complain 49p a game. And then they also had an offer in there, uh, the two for £20 thing, so uh, I was quite lucky to find. Uh, this, which is Injustice 2 Legendary Edition, which has got a lot of DLC but on the disc. And that was priced up the same as the um, the conventional copy, so I think I did quite well with that. And uh, something I've been meaning to get on the 360 originally, or the, or the PS3, but uh, then they brought out the 30th Anniversary Edition, so uh, love the films. Back to Future the Game. I do actually have this on PC, but uh, again, it's digital, so uh, I always wanted a box copy of that. And the last thing I saw um, was also in-game. Well, the last thing I saw in-game was the PS4, and it's something I'd seen months ago before the, the virus outbreak in uh, the uh, the branch of game uh, in the town that I work. And uh, I thought, oh, that's a bit of a bargain, <coughs> at about eight quid or something. And um, yeah, it's even, it was even cheaper. This was four ninety nine pre owned. And it's Tempest four thousand. I'd imagine it's probably going to be uh, pretty good. Um, I don't know if Jeff Mint has got anything to do with it, but um, I'm hoping he has. Uh, or if not, it's as good as Tempest two thousand. So yeah, I was quite pleased with that. Um, and I used up some um, some credits in. CEX. I'm just trying to remember which little pile that was it. So, as mentioned, I, had, I do have a bit of a soft spot for Rebellion, even though this is, uh, I think, a conversion of a Rebellion game by a different company, and it is uh, Sniper Elite for the Wii. Apparently, you can play it with um, obviously the uh, the Wii remote in the gun attachment. I don't know if you can see that on the back there. But uh, yeah, I've got Sniper Elite uh, a few times, but um, it, that was like two or three quid or something, I think. In fact, let's have a look. Oh no, it was six quid, but um, yeah, I thought that was worth having anyway. And like I say, I used a voucher because um, probably about three months ago, I took an old, a whole bunch of games up to Computer Exchange and got myself about 110 quid worth of credit. So um, <coughs> I thought, what's the use of having a voucher if you're not going to spend it on the odd game here and there? So another game that I picked up while I was there, I've not heard that this was even a thing, but it's um, basically part of a series that I've got on the Dreamcast. Um, so I thought it was worth picking up... Um, Essentially, uh, it's a treasure game. Um, it's Bangai Over Spirits. The case is a bit knackered, but um, I've got some spare cases that I'm going to transplant that into. 
um, and it's complete otherwise. Um, manual and game card, cartridge, whatever. So let's pop a bit there. And the last thing is a game that I've been wanting to get for donkey's years. Um, ideally, it would have been nice to have got it on uh, in, a, in a box copy with uh, the manual and a map, which might give you a clue. But uh, as I couldn't uh, see, well, I didn't see one of them. And this looks to be in very nice condition. It's um, Secret of Mana. So, uh, yeah, finally got that in the collection. Excuse me. Just gonna have a little slurp of tea. Oh, nice. Uh, next, right. Um, what's next? Um, yeah, here we go. We went uh, to a local town about a uh, week and a half ago. Um, and a couple of bits and bobs in the charity shops, um, some of which will be trades or upgrades. This will be a trade, um, it's Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, that was um, part of a three for a pound thing. I've got uh, a couple of couple of DVDs as well, um, a comedy DVD and uh, what is it, Fear the Walking Dead first series. However, when I got that at home, I discovered there was only one of the two discs in there, but you know, 33 pence each, you can't really complain. And uh, this is in very good nick, so um, yeah, this will be uh, put into CX for some credit. Um, right, and the, the next three things, I'll probably overpaid for the lot of them, but um, it's not often you see them, and I've not long had me good news about my job, so I thought, bugger it, um, I'm gonna get them. So in ascending order, <clears throat> I got um, Jet Set Radio Future and Sega GT, part of the packing, so um, there you go, look. it's um, the manual, uh, so there is no sort of inlay for this that I'm aware of, and there's the disc, <coughs> excuse me, don't worry it's not Covid, it's uh, smoker's cough and not being used to talking for any length of time. Um, so uh, the next thing, I was surprised to see this, and although I've got a copy of it myself, uh, I'll probably trade that in now. <coughs> Excuse me. It is uh, Bully, scholarship edition. But what makes this interesting is it is sealed. And this is the point where Tutti had put up his little snip of uh, seal. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, unfortunately, no such... Um, extravagances for myself but uh, it's very rare you see a sealed xbox 360 game these days much less one like that and then this was extravagant this was probably priced um at about the going rate but um i saw it and i ummed and ahed and i thought well it gives some money to charity and it's a spare for me for the moment uh it's um final fantasy 8 and as you can see it costs 15 quid which, like I say, is uh, certainly more than I would usually pay, but uh, it's in very nice nick. Uh, obviously got all the discs and the manual. Case is in good condition as well. And I am denied for a few minutes. I thought, yeah, what the hell? I'll give the I'll give the charity some money, and uh, you know I might keep that um, going forward. Or I might move it on, but uh, yeah, charity gets a few quid out of it, so what the hell. Um, right, and then that same day, used up some more of the CEX credit. A um, bit of a theme to this video in that um, I've got a couple of pinball games. This one um, is very good fun. It's uh, Star Wars Pinball for the Switch, as you can see it cost 18 quid. And there's no card in there because it's in the switch. And it's quite addictive. There is a bit of an issue with it, although I've not seen anyone else report it online, where sometimes the ball will just slow down and like almost miss, I don't know if it's missing frames or, or sort of lagging ever so slightly. And it does sort of put you off a little bit. Uh, not necessarily when there's an enormous amount happening. 
so uh, I don't know what that's all about but nevertheless uh, I spent probably hmm, three hours trying to uh, improve a score on it uh, on a couple of challenges the other night um, yeah it's, it's definitely got that one more go factor I think I said that about five times oh last go last go last go I think my wife got bored and uh, went and watched some on the telly in the end and the other one I got, which I have yet to play, is the Marvel Pinball Epic Collection Volume 1. Again, it's um, a Zen pinball uh, game, so I'm hoping that on the PS4 there won't be any slowdown issues. But uh, again, that was 15 quid. But in real terms, when you consider that uh, I've used credit built up from trading in games, it's probably cost me somewhere between about a third and a quarter of that. So, you know, sort of maybe four four to five quid so you can't really grumble at that and the last thing i got from cx um i think they'd actually marked up wrongly um looked in the cabinet saw this i saw six quid and i thought that seems cheap and then i looked behind it and there was a a normal version of the game if you like for six quid as well so i thought okay i'm going to try my luck here why not and it is um, Super Street Fighter 2 and if you have a look on the back it's got Street Fighter 2 in box so obviously someone wasn't really paying much attention when they put that on the system so I thought it's six quid I'm gonna have that so I did um, so what's next um, I've got a, a Facebook marketplace pickup and the car boot from a week or so ago and some more miscellaneous bits and bobs so uh, yeah uh, these were charity shop purchases uh, I think these were a pound each or maybe even 50p each devil may cry that will be going in the collection as will this fracture so happy to get those this um, I bought not brand new but um, uh, second hand I think from games so it was a bit cheaper than, than brand new but I do like the Formula 1 and it is Formula 1 2020 not really had much of a go on that yet and this one uh, I bought on a whim and as you can see I've not taken out the uh, packaging yet because the pinball's been getting in the way it's uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars so I, I do have all of those games already, but it would be nice to play them on the Switch, so uh, there we go. Um, a couple more impulse, not the impulse purchases. This was in Asda, so it might be worth looking in your local. Uh, it was £5. I have this for the PS4, but uh, I thought at £5, I'd be daft to not pick this up, uh, especially as it's enhanced. It is Resident Evil 2. I also saw Hitman 2, um, marked up at £5 as well, but in uh, the Astro I went in, they didn't have it in stock. So uh, I was in a different um, branch of Asda um, a couple of days later, and I looked in there, and same deal. So uh, it seems that Asda don't sort of update their shelves, but it might be worth a look if you're after Hitman 2 or Resident Evil 2. It looks like they're a fiver each, so uh, you heard it here. So, um, the other day, um, <coughs> I was out and about, and talking about stuff, and uh, bear with me just one moment. There we go. Always forget one thing. I was out and about, and I had seen that a new release was going to be three quid cheaper than game. And um, so I went in Asda on the day of release in the morning and took the box to the counter oh we don't have it I says you sure it's, it's come out today yeah we definitely not got it so cue a trip to um, basically a couple of other places uh, I went to our local branch of Smith's toy shop toy store whatever and it was uh, <coughs> excuse me a bit more expensive in there so I thought okay I'll try somewhere else first 
But before I went, I, I did see some reduced items. Um, so again, a Switch game I've been looking to pick up for a while and finally done so. It's Mario and, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Because I like the XCOM games, I've heard this is quite similar, even though it's obviously a Mario game. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what else did they have? This was a tenner. Again, a game that I've been looking to get for a very long time. And you never seem to see it cheap, or I don't at least. The one time I did see it cheap as part of the bundle, someone just scooped up the entire lot. Uh, and, th and then whittled down an already amazing price. This must have been three years ago. But anyway, this was a tenner, so I thought, well, better now than ever. Um, because it looked like they were clearing out their 3DS stock. So it's uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. So uh, pleased to finally get my hands on that. And the last thing I saw was in a, like a little bucket by the side of the till, and it just uh, it was in a like a display case, and it said clearance, fifteen quid. And again, this is something I've I've got on Game Pass. And it's a very very nice game. Um, and I thought, why the hell not? It is Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful game. I don't know if you can see the art on that or whether you've sort of played it, but uh, yeah, it's very artistically uh, sweet game um, so yeah again that's one for the collection so the game that I eventually managed to get not from Smith's not from the two places I went to subsequently um, was I ended up going to game and getting it from uh, for the slightly more expensive price but this is a game that I did want to get on day of release and it is uh, Star Wars Squadrons and I've had a quick go on the uh, tutorial mission in VR, and it is excellent. Very, very good. Um, obviously, I don't know what it's like to play in 2D, so to speak, or on the flat screen or whatever. Uh, I've heard it's good, um, but I can certainly say in VR it's excellent. So uh, looking forward to getting into a bit more of that later tonight. So, uh, yeah, recommended, especially from a Star Wars fan. So, um these next pickups were posted on a Facebook group and um, unfortunately I can't remember the chap's name uh, but he just put yours for the price of postage so these cost me £3.10 uh, which was excellent um, the first one is just missing one disc but it is it is all for the Amiga uh, virtual reality <laughs> following a the theme volume one so uh, of these, uh, we've got Star Glider 2, we've got the International Soccer Challenge, I think that was a bit shit if I remember, but um, nevertheless, for, for practically free, I'm happy enough with it. Carrier Command, which I had for the ST, I was never any good at, but uh, again, a bit of a bargain. Stunt Car Racer, which uh, is, for the time, quite technically advanced. Uh, again, I was fairly rubbish at it and I had to go on a retro gaming challenge on a Facebook group about a year or so back and I was terrible so this could be the driver if you pardon the pun that I need to improve unfortunately it is missing midwinter but uh, you know I'm happy with that anyway and the other two things uh, to do with the game that I wasted a lot of time on um, back when I think um, the game that I was playing was either my mates or it might have been a <clears throat> backup uh, it's PGA Tour Golf and not only is it PGA Tour Golf but there's also a tournament course disc as well with three extra courses on so it was always a good game like me and my mate used to uh, play each other on it and have uh, some good fun on it so yeah for the price of the postage three pound ten that was brilliant and uh, very kind of the person that uh, that sent them to me so uh, right um, last sort of random pickups if you like now um, were me going to pick up IT equipment to start working from home tomorrow um, went back to the town that I work in um, and I had to get the exhaust replaced on my car, which uh, the price for which would make you cry. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but then also I had to bum around the town for a number of hours while they did the repair. So um, I had a little mooch around and 
found a few bits and bobs so uh, these were from charity shops so uh, PlayStation game Ski Air Mix it's a Midas game it's likely to be absolute trash but if nothing else I can swap a, a better game into this case I'll probably keep it into the in the collection and I'll have a go see what it's like but I imagine it will be poor so uh, yeah um, don't expect any uh, rave reviews on that anytime soon um, so the other charity shop that I found games in uh, again probably a little overpriced but uh, I was happy enough to play it I've, I've only got this on disc only so uh, it was nice to get a box copy it's GoldenEye 007 and then a, a DS game and a 3DS game I couldn't remember if I'd um, got this one and I, it turns out I do so this will be a trade in I won't have lost anything Professor Layton and Lost Future <clears throat> I mean I have pictures on my phone but sometimes when you're at a charity shop I don't like whipping out the phone it just seems wrong <laughs> you know I, I could have all gone for a walk around the block and chat the phone and then gone back and, and got it but uh, yeah I just thought uh, what the hell I'll get it the other one which I don't have is Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask for the 3DS so that one will be kept I seem to remember they used to bringing quite a lot of trade credit but uh, they seem to have gone down a bit now and the last two were from the recycle center so um, this is a an Xbox game this was um, in fact a couple of the things that I got here um, are over there I'm not getting up again so I'll have to describe what they were so I got minority report <clears throat> complete and then having said earlier you, you'd never find Dreamcast games I found a Dreamcast game it's only UA for Striker but again I bought that because I although the case isn't perfect uh, as you can see that it's missing a bit there it is a case that I can put a copy of Soul Calibur into that somehow I've got without a case so uh, unfortunately UA for Striker gets relegated to the bench ho ho uh, so yes I got those two things plus a 360 wireless N adapter and uh, an original Xbox crystal controller and they cost me a fiver so I was happy with that so uh, <coughs> excuse me again on to the car boot you might have seen something sneak into shop there I'm not sure but um, quite good actually quite a good little visit um, in no particular order um, I got quite a few things that I was quite happy with so um, should have sorted these out really I'll try and go through them and sort them on the run so these two games I got for I think eight quid for the pair it's uh, Chocobo Tales the DS and Dragon Quest 9 also the DS um, this um, next one in fact that's a DVD sorry about this this is uh, very poor um, that goes there, these go there, I think I'm there or thereabouts roughly, yes there we go. So these three were fiver, um, I never really fancied this when it was released and I know that the servers are closed so you can't do the multiplayer anymore but I thought Three for a fiver. They were two pound each, and I says, "Do three for five And they went, "Yeah." So uh, I got Evolve for the Xbox One, Binary Domain, which I always thought I had and I didn't. So uh, now I've rectified that. And Heroes Over Europe again, another one which I thought I had, especially as it's a flight simulator, and I do like those sort of flight simulation games. They were a fiver. So. Uh, Again, they'll be going into the collection. 
this one um, trying to remember how I got these hmm. yes those two were together I think this one I got on its own can't remember how much it was I think it was a pound this will upgrade my copy which is the um, PlayStation uh, sorry not PlayStation uh, 360 classics version so uh, I've actually got the um, normal label if you like of FIFA Street and these two I think they were priced up at two pound each I says we do the two for three and they said yeah so these will be traded in need for speed the run again I don't think I'll make much credit out of these but um, yeah and the other one was Borderlands game of the year edition I think I was just pleased to be at a car boot finally um, right uh, next three again I think these were a pound each so I've got uh, Need for Speed Undercover for the PS3 Aliens vs Predator for the PS3 and the F1 2012 for the PS3 so um, I think I, I definitely need Alien vs Predator for the um, PlayStation collection so that will be going in there I do have Formula 1 2012 and I think I've got Need for Speed Undercover as well so um, yeah uh, most of those will be trade so um, right oh yes I've got um, the next little bunch of things I got in sort of two visits those aren't games so I can go over that um, right in fact actually I've got this loose I've got my wife um, a Pokemon um, plush which was uh, a furret which if you're familiar with your Pokemon it's like a ferret um, so I got her that and on the same stall I saw this which is a little uh, Game Boy Advance game it's um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Day of the Duelists so I think this was two or three quid and the, the plush was a lot more <laughs> but uh, yeah it cheered my wife up which is good so uh, I was happy to pay that um, right yes yeah, so I'm just trying to remember what order I got these bits and bobs in? Um, okay, got that. Those right. So there was a stall there. I think it must have been a reseller of some kind, but the prices weren't too bad. And they, he, he was, well, firstly, it was a lady there, um, prepared to do a deal. So I got these as a little bunch and. Um, I think we agreed on 15 for the lot, which is a, a little bit off. So first thing was a sealed copy of Final Fantasy 15 for the Xbox One. Again, it's something I've got on the PlayStation 4, but I thought that was decent, especially when it was discounted a little bit. Um, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castles 4, which I heard good things about this. I've not played it yet, but I um, thought, why not? Something that uh, I used to have back in the day. It's a bit faded, um, but it's not an expensive game anyway. I think it, uh, I think they got it priced up at three or four quid, but obviously that came down a little bit when they bundled it up. Um, Nigel Mansell's World Championship for the SNES. And this in not a standard uh, GameCube case and again it was a situation where I could have got my phone out and checked my um, pictures of my games but I didn't feel comfortable doing that uh, I really don't like it when people start doing that next to us you know they go what how much is that and the next thing you do they're on eBay or CEX checking out the prices um, you know my, I know it probably sounds a bit snooty but I'm like in my, in my head I'm like for God's sake you know if you're gonna do this you know, if you're going to be a reseller, do your homework. Uh, as it is, I'm sort of probably a collector reseller hybrid as most of us these days, because that's the only way to go about it, really. Anyway, I'm waffling. <coughs> um, 
thought I didn't have this, turns out I do. It's Terminator 3 Redemption. It's got the manual, uh, it's got the disc, so I'll be transplanting that into a spare GameCube case and I'll trade that in. I don't think I'll get a great deal for it, but uh, I've got that as well. So anyway, I've bimbled around the rest of the car boot, got the other bits and bobs that I mentioned. Uh, went back there a little later on because there was a couple of things that I was humming and hawing about and decided that I was probably going to go for it. And lo and behold, they've got a couple more bits and bobs out. So this was my second little pickup uh, from that same place. And these two, uh, well, I'd initially gone back to have a look at some Master System games. So I picked these three up. First one is Enduro Racer. Turns out I've actually got this already. I thought I'd just got it loose cut, but I've actually got it boxed. So uh, I'll trade that in. It's uh, missing the manual, as are all the Master System games, unfortunately, but um, nevertheless, I was pleased to get them. Um, I've got Transbot, which um, unbelievably, although this is quite a common game from what I can see, um, I've never played it. And it's meant to be a decent uh, enough shooter, I believe. I think it's one of those that's on the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the card. There's a card version, isn't there, as well? Um, but obviously, like I said, I've never played either. Obviously, no manual again. But that will be going onto the Master System shelf. So that collection grows ever so slightly. And uh, yeah, I'd seen this one earlier. Didn't realise until I'd gone back that it's a, it's a light fading game, so even better. It's a um, rescue mission. So uh, I thought, having looked at it originally, I thought, oh, it's like a bit like Commando or the Kari Warriors. But uh, yeah, it's a light, light, uh, light gun game. So um, again, no manual, but I can live with that. So uh, yeah, another one for the collection. And then the the next things, uh, actually these were out originally. Got a couple of twenty six hundred games in nice condition, good labels. We got Centipede and Battle Zone. I have a soft spot for that game. I like the old Atari uh, arcade version. Never played the 2600 version up until I got that. And I like the VR version that, uh, again, Rebellion did. We seem to be going in circles with these conversations. And then uh, this was here as well. And I thought, you can never have too many of these and I might be able to refurb it. It's looking a bit tired, but it's a 2600 joystick. So uh, that will get taken apart, cleaned up and so on. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then these these two games were not there at all earlier on. So I saw them. Um, these were there with, um, what was it? Um, it was a Mario game. I don't think it was Super Mario World. I think it was Mario All-Stars, which I've already got. So I left that. And that was priced most highly out of them. Out of them. So I thought I'll have these. Um, Tetris and Dr. Mario. Do like me a bit of Tetris, and Dr. Mario is quite decent as well. And then this one, which I rented back in the day, um, couldn't get the hang of it. Really, really wasn't a fan. Although I am a fan of one of the characters in it, and I thought I do, that deserves another go. So uh, it will be going in the collection, and it is uh, Looney Tunes Roadrunner game. And I'm not a fan of the Roadrunner. I'm a fan of Wally Coyote, he's my role model. So, yes, I will be playing that. And hopefully I will be better at it these days than I was when I was a kid. So that, I thought, was that. Um, so I was wending my way back to the car to sort of go and have uh, some of my flask of tea uh, and head off home. And there was another chap, because obviously you go up and down the aisles a, a few times. It was a chap I didn't recall seeing earlier on. He got like a box Mega Drive and Sonic 1. And then he got a, a slightly shabbier box Mega Drive uh, with Sonic 2. Or it could have been the other way around. But either way, you know, they were they were not the best condition boxes in the world. And I thought they'll, they'll probably be a few quid premium on that. And then I saw this, which obviously had been missed. Or maybe not noticed or maybe sort of... Um, other people that were out around there looking for games, of which there were a few I noticed, probably turn their noses up or they might have even not recognised it. 
but it was this and as you can see it's a little worse for wear but it is a mostly complete Super Nintendo I picked it up had a look around it sort of had a fiddle with this at the back I thought, mm. looked at it no rust down there Turn it upside down and all sorts, giving it a shake, and it was a bit uh, a bit grubbier than this. I've sort of given it a very light surface clean. And the guy says, uh, "That's a pound, mate. Don't know if it works." I was like, "Oh, go on then." Always up for a project, so uh, took it home. As you might have gathered, because I've cleaned it slightly, um, although obviously not properly. I thought, well, there's bits that I could use for the Super Nintendos that I've got. I've got one with a really knackered uh, section here. And although that's not complete, it's it's in better nick than one of the ones that I've got. So took it down, stripped it down, give it a clean inside, checked it, that there was nothing living in there that shouldn't be. Plugged it in, fired it up, it works, doesn't it? These things are bloody bulletproof, it would seem. So Super Nintendo, mainly complete. For a quid, can't complain at that, and uh, that'll probably uh, amuse Dana if he sees this video because he says I'm uh, a bit of a master of picking up partially complete things, systems. So <laughs> that'll hopefully amuse him. Good to see him back, incidentally. Um, enjoyed his video the other day. Right, so on to the final thing. Um, and my god, is it still Sunday? Um, this is Facebook Marketplace pickup. Now this was a little different. I'd seen this up on Facebook Marketplace about six weeks ago, and it said uh, all of this um, for sale for uh, well offers or could be up for swaps. So I got in touch, and I says, "What are you looking to swap for?" And he said, um, "Xbox One, PlayStation Four, or." would consider a Wii U. So I've got three Wii U's. I've got my, my daily driver, if you like, uh, a slightly battered, but you know, a, a working Wii U. It's got scratches over the base unit, but the um, the controller is in good nick. Um, got to stick a fiddle in the back of that. Like that. Uh, and then there was one that I bought a couple of years ago. It was just a base unit. And then I traded in some games and got the controller, got some hookups and that, and it worked. And gave it to the wife, and she used it for maybe a fortnight, and then put it in the drawer, never to be seen again. So I, I sort of said to her, I said, "Do you plan to use the Wii U in any time soon?" She went, "No." Incidentally, my other Wii U is uh, a white boxed copy, um, so that's uh, obviously staying on me. Anyway, so I got back in touch with the guy and I says, well, I've got a Wii U and it turns out I had a couple of um, spares. I think it was um, uh, Super Mario 3D World and um, I forget the other one. Oh, no, it was Rayman. So I said, um, OK, well, I've got these. Um, what are your thoughts? And he went, OK, um, we'll take that plus... 50 quid and initially I was like mm. I sort of I says okay let me sleep on it and initially I was going to go back and say no nah, it's a bit much for me a bit rich for me but I thought about it I had a look at the value of my Wii U and the games and then I had a look at what he was offering and I thought actually that's not a bad deal so I picked it up obviously to put some games into my own collection and the rest I'm going to move on without any further ado it is a Saturn, which I do have already. I do have a Saturn, but it's a nice nick. Um, so there's the Saturn. It's got uh, obviously the hookups. There's the uh, the plug and a controller. So far, so good. Um, then, right, so. Like I say, I have some of these already. So the first you know, PlayStation case, uh, case is a loose disc of Duke Nukem 3D. 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Virgil Racing, Magic Carpet, Daytona USA. Actually, I had a box, an empty box for Daytona USA, so I've put the uh, disc for that in the best box of the two. Um, that's the slightly worst box, so I've actually got an empty Daytona case, um, which has got a rip in it there. If anyone needs that, drop me a line. Um, Blast Chamber. Sega Rally Championship. Virtua Fighter 2. F1 Challenge. And Wipeout. So all of those I've got in one form or another. Um, I'm going to put those there in that way. I've probably shown off what, what they are there. They're probably in shot. I have no idea because um, I'm filming this through my phone. So I'll put that, uh, put that down there. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Not that I was any, ever any good in the first place. but um, Anyway, so these are the ones that are going into the collection. So I've got uh, Pebble Beach, Golf Links. Wing Arms. Clockwork Knight. Uh, this one was a bit... Uh, well, actually, no, I'll go to that one in a, in a second. Uh, Road Rash. Right, so this is the one I was on about a, a minute ago. Let's, uh, let's hide this by putting that on there. This was uh, a disc in a battered case. So, um, essentially, it's, it's Street Fighter, the movie of the game, of the movie, of the game, of the movie, of the game. It was missing the inlay, and as you can see, the box is a bit knackered, but the game works. So there's the disc. And... I printed myself that out. It's not perfect. It doesn't fit properly, but it, it sort of tidies it up a little bit. I'm obviously missing the instructions and a proper inlay, but I was quite happy to get that. Of course, I quite like the Street Fighter movie. It's cheesy, yeah, and it's enjoyable. Um, and oddly enough, I've got uh, a pre-order with Amazon of a, a limited edition of um, the movie on Blu-ray coming to me in a, a little while, maybe... A few weeks I think. The last one I got was uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 and uh, this is a very nice nick as are most of them the, the chap looked after them uh, by and large I think some of his stuff he must have put, picked up second hand um, so anyway yeah pleased to get hold of them and uh, yeah quite happy with that so between moving on my doubles and the console etc uh, that won't have cost me too much and uh, it does sort of uh, move on a Wii U console that my wife was never going to use but that's not everything um, I got around the chap's house he very kindly sort of took me up he says you can see it working before you take it so that was very nice of him really nice fella um, uh, but before I went he said are you aware that this is for the TV and the cabinet as well. I was like, uh, no, thinking I don't really need another CRT because I've, I've got my Sony on there. But uh, he seemed keen to get rid. So, um, yeah, I took that off him. And that is currently in storage. Um, so if anyone um, is in need of a CRT and you've got your own transport, uh, let me know in the comments. And we'll arrange something you can come and pick that up and have it for free if you like uh and a cabinet or like a little sort of corner cabinet to put it on um it's yours for now if you would like it so anyway i think that is everything um i'm sure there's probably things i've forgotten but this video has gone on way too long anyway um it probably a byproduct from this sort of long length of time between the last video and this one and obviously um you know the pickups uh I've, I've got in between um and also because i'm really out of practice with making videos i sort of do them uh, i never really used to do them that regular anyway but i sort of do them as and when the fancy takes me um so i did feel like making a video but also i want to get this stuff all put away now because i'm uh, tripping over it 
So um, anyway, uh, I don't know how long it will be before the next Pickles video. Um, like I say, we might be going into lockdown again soon by the looks of it. So we might all be locked up, cooped up at home, uh, not making many pickups, not visiting many car boots or anything. So it could be a while, but uh, whatever you're doing, be safe doing it. And uh, hopefully I will speak to you again sometime in the not too distant future. This is uh, Darth Steve 333 saying goodbye. Bye.